Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here with me, Arno Schmidt. We are covering Reactus Atraxa today, which was one of the decks that my team that I worked with spearheaded by Edward Mucha, or Eduard Mucha, um, which is an Irish-German magic online grinder mostly, who brought together a group of European players, including me, to test for regional championship Naples. And I believe five of us uh, out of the team played this list of Atraxa or something very close to it. I mean, maybe 73 out of 75 of the same cards. And uh, yeah, there's actually more than the people that played Esper. Only four of us played Esper, right? And we had like a couple of people playing Mono White as well. Uh, during testing at the very end, I remember that we kind of honed in on Mono White, Esper Legends and Atraxa. We were all like split up and I think I spit out a phrase of something like, hey, those all are great decks. We have really good lists with good plans. There's no shame in registering any of them. Um, well, in hindsight, obviously the Esper Legends deck was a bit better than the rest. Um, but, you know, like at that point, we, I, I suppose I didn't really know. And uh, it's unfortunate I didn't know. I, otherwise, I would have been more adamant. On promoting the Esper deck, of course, and trying to convince my my teammates that this deck is broken, but I, I honestly didn't know. I've just thought we had a good list with good sideboard plans and stuff, but not that we like broke the format. In any case, let's not talk about Esper Legends. Let's talk about Atraxa today. And red black it is. Um, we of course worked on Grixis as well and Junt, but red black turned out to be the best. One of the reasons why is this little thing here, Plaza of Heroes. Really innocent looking, but it does a lot for the archetype. Not only does it help you hard cast the trucks, so whatever color you're missing, Plaza will provide you that color. And you do have more lands that provide certain colors, like Xanus Lounge and Seattle's Proving Ground, Caves of Coilers, Sun on, Pond, uh, Sun on Pass. We have a Dark Stick Shores here. So this deck. Pretty good shot at hard casting a truck. So you also have the treasures from Bankbuster and Fable, of course. And then Plaza of Heroes in the late game is just incredible. So imagine you play Cruelty for value, target opponent, da -da -da, reveal, search your library for an Atraxa. Then you have a blood token laying around. Boom, discard that blood token. Third chapter on Cruelty of Geeks triggers. You get the Atraxa into play. All your mana untapped. You have a Plaza in play. And all your mana untapped. Yes, indeed. How about a 7-7 hexproof indestructible creature if need be? That is just, yeah, truly unbeatable. Um, some some opponents can maybe go for the Frota Atraxa or Otavara to Atraxa to then get in for the final damage, but Plaza of Hero just prevents that. Also in the mirror matches, it's it's kind of funny how it plays out that you really grind through Atraxas and having access to Plaza allows you to just have more Atraxas in a way. And of course, with Atraxa, you also find the Plaza to then have a really good land to use um, to use that with. Uh, yeah, other interesting tech in the deck is Atsushi the Blazing Sky, which is a really cool one uh, that we found while testing the Grixis matchup a ton. I, I was the Grixis opponent, playtesting against Eddie like hours and hours on Reactus Atraxa. And um, yeah, I mean, the matchup was always close. I wasn't really, like, I didn't play this deck because I thought the Atraxa, uh, the, the, the Grixis matchup is just too close. The Grixis has cheap counter spells, does the mid-range plan really good, um, which is just tough for Atraxa. It's not like, we, we play a lot of the same cards in this deck, right? Like, oh, Bank Busters, we have Fables, Harvesters, Cruelty can be really strong if they don't have Invoke, right? And Atrox, I mean, in the late game, you just hard cast it. So the, the matchup is not like lopsided in the favor of Grixis by any means. It's it's close. And Atsushi really comes in big to make this matchup even better for Red Black. Because this thing, as a Grixis player, you don't have easy ways to kill this, um, right? You just, you kind of have to kill it and then they get one of the two triggers and both triggers are amazing. More often than not, the create free treasures part is just really really strong in the Grixis matchup so if they go for the protest you just make free treasures have this extra mana laying around and then it's so much easier to just slam down a Traxa right that's yeah I mean that's obvious but you can also then play easier around make disappear which is big yes and uh the exile two top two cards is a two for one I mean you you block with this or they have to like it just stops them in their tracks um is another thing you can just value reanimate with cruelty and then also against every other deck in the format, you put this down on turn four, 
Um, as long as it's not mono white, mono white of course is pretty good against four drops by exiling them. But if you play against an aggressive deck, they kind of like have to kill this. And if they kill it, um, you get free treasures, which means yes, you can just hard cast a Truxa. So it's such a good combination. Funny thing you can also do if you have multiple Atsushi, you attack with one Atsushi and you just play another one from your hand. Legendary rule out their first one, get free treasures, have a 4 4. I mean, this happens quite often because you kind of want like mana for Atraxa, for example, or something like that. So this card is not even bad in multiples. And yeah, you, it's also ex until the end of your next turn. So you could just like, if you have multiples of them, you have infinite mana already, you can just turn the second one into a pseudo divination, right? So yeah, this does it all. The rest of the deck, um, you can build this in various ways. I mean, at some point we had four duress in the main deck, which makes the Grixis matchup a lot better. Um, but Eddie and the crew decided to, in the end, just play cutdowns more because they were more afraid of Esper Legends and other aggressive decks, which, I mean, was perhaps the right call. And so we see three cutdowns in the main deck. We see some go for throat, one of Braid, a couple sweepers here, Brothers, and really good in the stack to, to wipe away the opposing aggression. And also, of course, to sometimes fetch it up with the second chapter on Cruelty. One Shieldred is a leftover. At, so, at one point, the deck had four Shieldred, um, but that just... That, of course, made the aggro matchups pretty good, right? Having four shielded. But it made the Grixis matchup a lot worse. And so, uh, Eddie, in the end, replaced the shieldreds, or three of them, with its sushis. And, yeah, I mean, Bankbuster is in here, more or less, as a main deck, anti-Grixis card. Um, I don't think it's necessary in a format where Grixis wouldn't be a thing, um, where you could just play, like, more discard, Lilianas, or Bitter Reunion, or something, make your deck more consistent. Um, but yeah, in, in, in a Grixis setting, this is one of the best cards you can drop against Grixis. If they don't have a braid right away, you just run away with the game by drawing cards, getting that 4 4 at, at the end, and playing against their counter spells so much better than if you wouldn't have that card, right? If you wouldn't have Bank Buster, uh, counter spells would be pretty good against you one for one, and then like a Corpse Rebrazer getting a card back, etc. So Bank Buster does exactly that alternative way of, of attack or defense, you could say. Eddie also, in the end, they chose to play a couple basics. I think they were probably different on that. You can also play Silk and Sun, um, but I suppose they were respecting... Um, yeah, they were respecting the... <laughs> The Field of Ruin stuff, which, I mean, I was playtesting that a lot in the last week, right before the tournament, and I was, like, hyping it up a bit, and I was like, oh my god, this is really good. So I think I really skewed people towards play putting basics into their deck. It's, like, some some sort of internal thing that can happen sometimes. But, um, I mean, some players played Land Destruction at the event, so it wasn't, like, a totally wrong call. Although free basics seems like a lot. I mean, so concerned. You don't activate it often, but sometimes you do, and uh, it would be kind of nice to have, right? Um, I guess one more reason is the Furnace Punisher, which, I mean, if you have two basics early, I guess, then that card becomes a little worse against you, but uh, otherwise, yeah. All right, uh, pretty much main deck, pretty pretty stock stuff. I, I guess the reason why I didn't end up playing it, again, the Grixis matchup was too close. I really like the Esper deck. Um, it was proactive and powerful, and uh, yeah, so that's why I didn't play it. Sideboard, we have another cut down, of course, for the creature decks. We have Flame Bliss, Bull, and Anoint Reflection for Razor Lash, Transmogrins that uh, come out of, you know, Esper or Grixis Mirrors. Um, Razor Lash, then my, ourselves, I mean, we can play it against Grixis, have some alternative game plan there. A couple of Shieldred against Aggro, two more Duress, of course. One of the absolute best cards for the archetype. Um, again, you could also play three or four in the main deck. I think that's totally reasonable given the meta game, and you do have ways to discard the card. Um, it makes your Grixis matchup stronger, having more duress. Go for the road and the braid. Excellent removal. It's just two more of those. Another Reckon Bankbuster for the grindy matchups. A hearse to fetch up, or just to have one graveyard piece for the mirror matches. And of course, Mono Blue Tempo. Brothers and number three. Yeah, I mean, this deck has an excellent matchup against aggressive decks. With free shield rips post board, um, all the removal, like you want to get paired against soldiers, toxic, mono red all day. And then last but not least, we have a little tox drill. So that is our anti stone brain tech. If they stone brain your Atraxa in the mono white matchup, you can get this thing, get it down on the board, minus one, minus one on everything. Usually they have some tokens sitting around, then you instantly get the, those slugs and. Uh, you also can likely set it up with Cruelty of Gigs that you have Plaza of Heroes 
at the ready to protect it against any sorcery speed removal that they might have in their own turn. You know, like if they try to ossify it, you just give plaza protection, then they can lay down arms to ossify it in that turn. Then you get another end step trigger because this triggers each end step. And then you also get another end step trigger on your end step. So at that point, they will not have a board position and you will have a bunch of slugs that you can even sacrifice, right? Um, if you have blue mana through Dark Six Shores, Xanus Launch, or uh, random treasures laying around. So yeah, this, we found this just to be a, a nice little card against Stonebrain. All right, I think I've talked enough about this deck. I hope you enjoyed this little intro. Um, the team in itself didn't do very well with it. We had a lot of team kills randomly, like they all played against each other in the early rounds. And only one of them made day two. Um, Eddie himself missed at five and four and lost like twice against Monored, which is like one of the best matchups for the deck. He just ran really cold, I assume. So that's just what happens sometimes. Magic is magic. Nonetheless, the deck is, is really strong and, and a tier one deck, I think. All right, guys, let's let's play some games. Uh, play first. Yes, please. Um, pretty good against aggressive decks. Yeah, let's 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 try it. Let's try it. Do 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 do. Black leaf clears. Let's go. Yeah, this deck is pretty good against um aggressive deck. It's it's like it's so nice that it's just a mid range deck mostly. Um, that has this powerful, powerful late game, right? Oh, oh, oh. the Fable on turn three. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Fable's ridiculously good in this deck, of course, because all abilities really matter. Graveyard Trespasser. We're playing as Jund. Could attack. Cruelty here. Um, maybe do this. Let's see. Let's play a value cruelty. Oh, it's sushi in the house. Now I can also break this. Target opponent reveals the hand. And then you Grim Tutor. I could just do this for value theoretically, but uh, and then get a trespasser back next turn, I guess. Or I can also discard. If I draw an Atraxa, I can abrade this. Discard Atraxa. Then reanimate it. Mm. Or I just play it sushi pass. Um, reasonable. I honestly just think it's best to get this cruelty down. They don't have invoke quite yet. And even if they do, I mean, I have another enchantment to sack. Interesting turn though. Da 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 da. What do you got? A Jaya. Okay, so interesting. It's just a Junt deck with light splash of green, I guess. Invoke despair. So here we can just get a Traxa into our hand, play at sushi next turn, and then if they kill that sushi, we just make free treasures and then we can hard cast a Taxa. So Atsushi, obviously not only good against Grixis, also very good against John Red Black, any type of black deck. Mm, yeah, I think it's a pretty simple Atraxa here. Like, could get another Cruelty, but it doesn't look that good. So, I think it is just Atsushi here. Yeah, like I could have Braid or something like that on, on Bankbuster, but... Them drawing cards with Bankbuster will mean that they couldn't kill my Kiki here. So I don't even mind it that much. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Now, now they don't even have the mana for Invoke. Um, and I guess with, drawing the, with finding the tracks of the Grim Tutor, we can just abrade this now. If our Cruelty of Gigs survives the turn, we could do that in the upkeep. They just kill it, Sushi, right now. They want to exile it, huh? Um, I'll just make traders, yep. And they want to exile it. I guess I could just... But then they're going to crew that. 
and hit me for four or oh, draw a card. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let it happen. Take three. Draw a card, sure. Yeah, the, the trespasses. It's graveyard interaction, but it's also a big downside here with the static ability actually fueling my combo. Boom. So the Invoke Despair will get rid of my Atraxa, but I can find the rest. Or I can find, you know, I can find a lot of things. I can find creatures that I can cast here with all this mana. Are we getting an instant concession here? So I'm discarding another Jaya. Value Planeswalker. Trigger Duress. Yes, please. Creature. Artifact. Go for the throat. Um, just take a mountain. Yeah, we, we kind of have all the other mana already. And then we can either take Blood Tithe or Atsushi. Atsushi is pretty good. I like me Atsushi. Alright, sweet. And we'll do rest. Oh, they have a Hellraiser, not bad. And we'll play a Plaza. I'll play out Sushi. I guess we can also play the Bankbuster. Why not? Alright, sweet. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Of course, Bankbuster kind of nice and just fair games to have artifacts in your deck to find with a Truxa, of course. GG, alright, sweet. So we're playing as a Hellraiser Junt deck. Could be troublesome if they have lots of graveyard hit post board, unleashed inferno. Seems like a good late game at least. Alright, I think cut down is not what I want here. Um Shield with the Apocalypse kinda dies. Trucks are hard casting is is pretty good. Is a is a good plan against Junt. Not so much against Grixit, of course. A Braid, I like. Mm, two Brotherhoods and probably a good number. Um, another Banky Boy. And hers against the Hellraiser. And then the question is a little bit of what removal do we want. So they have a bunch of Jayas. I don't have a good way to kill Jaya. So the rest, I guess does that the razor lash is a bit worse because they have more basics but probably not that many basics but i think razor lash is more attack against counter spells against like a reactive grixis opponent and um here where we're playing against the red black splash green deck we're fine just having a Traxa as our kill condition and uh, doing that it's it's not unreasonable to cut blood tie fauster but i'm gonna go with this for now I can actually fetch up the entire sideboard guide, <laughs> technically speaking. Um, free lands, do rest, go for the road. Yeah, this is totally fine. So, um, do I want to do rest turn one? Hmm. Hmm. Give them more draws, but they also might have a bank buster. Don't want to take a pain. I, I think yes. I think the life point is not that important. And Takanuma, if I actually just draw a bunch of lands, Takanuma could be important. Hmm. Jaya, huh? Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. I don't have a good answer to that. Fable. I think I might have to take the Jaya here. My own fable, I like that. Take free, kill the goblin. Much more important to keep them off mana. I 
I hope they ban this before the next Proto. That would really make things more interesting. The next Proto is going to be Standard. Not Pioneer, luckily. I mean, I, I don't... I don't particularly hate Pioneer, but I don't particularly love it either. In Standard, I think you can get much more in Edge. Trespasser. Yep. The trucks are... well... <laughs> mm. One card in hand. Kind of losing to the board right now. So I kind of need answers. The cruelty doesn't really do anything right now. Uh, the Graver Trespasser makes it pretty bad. But we just got this and one cruelty. Okay, that's good. So do I go with Blood Tithe or do I go with Fable? Blood ties allows me to block and kill the Fable next turn. Huh. Probably just want to be mana efficient. Not, not quite sure about that blind. Okay, my trucks has gone. Hmm, that's a problem. Hmm, okay. I can... I can fetch Bradout's end, I guess, with the cruelty. Not great, of course, but... It's a plan. I'm a 12. They fl I flip a kiki. They can kill thing. <laughs> Not a blood dive. Guess I'll attack. Oh, well. That's aggressive. Yeah. I figured that you wouldn't want to do that. Um, hmm. So they're gonna kill this. They have to hearse anyways for any great vet shenanigans. So yeah, this is just a really, really bad card here. Um, opponent empty handed. Very fast draw, so we can't get anything out of the first chapter, so we just gotta do the second, and there are plenty of graveyard interaction to make that bad. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get a brother's end. Wipe the board. <clears throat> if I would have played Harvester last turn, could have killed the Kiki here. With nine life as well, so I'm going pretty low. Very low indeed. Not great. Going to two life. I don't really know how I could have played this differently. I could have I could have played oh shit, I'm dead, huh? Yeah, that kills me. That's exactly enough damage. Oh wow, they missed it. They could have crewed the hearse and killed me there. Well thank god they missed that. Um yeah, I could have played Harvester instead of the Fable the other turn, and this couldn't have attacked. So yeah, that was, I was tinkering about that decision. I wasn't sure. All right, well, this Bradout ends looking good. Funnily enough, destroying artifacts is not unreasonable here either. Kill that. Wipe the board. And then we can play Harvester and Bankbuster. We have more resources than them, but they have four blood and a hearse going. 
Interesting game. They also have Invoke Despair in their deck, so that's scary. I could have let the treasures lay around as well. In case I draw a Truxa. Hardcast the Truxa. The odds of that happening are pretty low. Probably just best to use my mana, especially this being a 4 4. If they find a creature to crew it, um, I would have to chump block with the harvest. Oof, that's, that's a pretty annoying one, not gonna lie. They're not crewing, interesting. Okay. So this is going to be a 6 6 next turn. I think I'll just play this out. Actually, my bank buster pass. I'm going to keep this up as a 4 4 to block the Razor Lash, of course. Maybe Cruelty is not that great in this matchup because there's so much graveyard interaction. You want to keep the Atraxas, cut the Cruelty. That could be reasonable. Attack. I mean, this is also a reason to play more basics in your deck, right? Like, that's why Eddie... Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, wow. That's... That's... Okay. That's that's tough to beat. Hurst. Double hurt. Well, it's just too late now. Uh, um, thinking about this cutting with the blood. I mean... Technically... I guess... If I play the Hearst, they're just going to return both, right? If they do so, I can just kill both and then exile them. Then I die against any creature off the top. Alright, now I have a chump blocker again. Let's see what they do. If they just return one... Hmm, alright. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is great. So now we can kill both, exile them both. And then we play Harvester. We don't die against a creature now. And we uh, continue. We even have like multiple chump blockers, right? I can technically at some point I can throw these vehicles in front of the hearse. But yeah, I'm dying against a lot of things. I'm dying against Shieldred, I'm dying against Invoke Despair. Trespasser, it is going to flip back today, so Trespasser is not going to kill me. But yeah, mm, do I want to draw a card right now, actually? I think yes, because if I draw a land, I might play it. Hmm. Nah, I think it's unlikely, actually, that I play the land because I have all these blood tokens. Okay, that's... I'm not dead, at least. <laughs> what an interesting game. I gotta find a Traxa. I get a treasure here, so I then have white, blue, and green. And black, of course. To hardcast a Traxa. Oh, a braid. Huh. Oh, wow. Alright. Um, I'm drawing pretty well, huh? <laughs> okay. More white, painless white. Um, can't quite cast a truck here, it's only six mana. So now I have. Uh, what do I do? Do I just leave them with the hearse? I would do it and destroy the bankbuster. Because I don't want them to draw into uh, more car and more like blockers. Okay, so I gotta stay back with both, right? Because the hearse is actually not a blocker right now. Um, is it? They did the exile because they responded to exiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a blocker right now. Um, so I gotta stay back with both and just destroy the bank buster, I guess. And they still have this 8 8 hers, but I don't think I care much about that. So yeah, just pass. Next turn a Traxa and then hope to dodge invoke, hope to dodge shielded. For one more turn here. They're gonna discard. They have so many draws. It's kind of scary. I could exile those two. 
Mm. I think I don't care. I think I just leave this up in case they have some sort of graveyard effect, like a Hellraiser, I suppose, is a card they have in the deck. Mm, and then I just want to have this up. I don't care about this being an 8 8 or 10 10, right? Like, technically, you, you can negate. God damn it. That's sad. Exactly two life as well. If I had one more life, you know, I could. Ah, it's a stupid case of Koilos on turn one, remember that? I could have taken Numa to the rest. That sucks. And I have to find a go for the fraud here. Could have I could have used the Takanuva, it was the one live in the end. Damn it! Oh man. Ah, such a close game. Such a close game. Alright, we're going to game three then. Ah, so I'll say we definitely want this exciting stuff, I guess. Um Yeah, I'm I'm starting to become doubtful about the rest being that good in this matchup. They seem to be very aggressive. Cruelty doesn't look that great. Um, yeah, looks okay. Radoz is a good answer to the Trespasser. Uh, Cruelty is a bit better on the play, right? Because we can likely cast it on turn, turn, four, turn five and then just still they have cards in hand, you know? Not like last game where they had literally nothing left. Ahem. <clears throat> That was close. That was an interesting game. Maybe I made a choice there, like the turn one caves of Koilos, um, that I shouldn't have done, and that cost me that. Very close game. Okay, we're on the play. Not the greatest proactive hand. Mm, I don't think you can really enhance like these with this deck, or in general. Like, it's still about. Yeah. We have answers to their card advantage, right? And then we already have two two sources for a Truxa Hardcast. Sand is not great against Razor Lash, to be fair. I just find it very difficult for me to mulligan really hands like these. On the play, they be on the draw it's a definite keep. On the play, do rest, sure. Like, for example, the rest is a big reason. Makes mulliganing tough, right? You you, you, you you mulligan to six and you have like one fable or whatever. The rest is going to come in and snack that fable. And then you are like down to five cards. Get out of here. Yeah, that's also one of the things that I didn't like that much about the stack, that the velocity... Drawing out Sushi on turn 4, perfect. But the deck's velocity wasn't that good as in Grixis. Like, Grixis, you have Corpse Appraiser as well to, like, um, help you when you're missing land, so when you're looking for something, you know. And this deck has Fable, which, when it draws Fable, it's, like, so good, right? But mm, then it has, like, Harvest of the Blood and Reckoner Backbuster. I mean, that, those are all the same cards that Grixis also has, but Grixis has, like, a higher volume of, of things that, like, make your land drops, find your stuff, draw cards, etc. Now we also have Plaza to protect the Atsushi, but Atsushi is not necessarily a creature you need or want to protect. Yeah, if, if the opponent has this much graveyard hate, like hers, hers, you, you can definitely trim on the... I can't even protect from that. You can trim on the, on the cruelties. Well, now we're looking for cards. I hope we don't hit a Truxa here. Okay. Uh, I suppose I'll braid the hearse. I should have done that with the trigger on the stack. That was a mistake. Now they can exile that sushi, which would have been nice in a graveyard, actually. There's the white. I can't cycle this, unfortunately, but I can use the blood to get rid of the Sulphur Springs. Which I may or may should do now. I, I could find like a Duress, you know. On the other hand, my, my Blood Tithe might also be good next turn to kill like a Fable Token. If I use the Blood Token, I can't destroy anything with the Blood Tithe. 
So I'm going to wait a turn. Yeah, that's a problem. If I draw a Truxa, I swing this game around. Yep. So that's the downside of the Grixis reanimator version, which plays a Corpse Appraiser. And uh, the Corpse Appraiser is a phenomenal magic card, right? But like you don't have the easy way of hard casting um, a, a Truxa in that deck. And here you, you have a much easier time of hard casting the Truxa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, flooding a bit. Fable would be a nice draw. Cruelty, a Truxa, of course. I, I, on the play, I have free Cruelty still in my deck. And on the draw, I would, against this version, would maybe go down to one or two. They might have Hellraiser. Who knows, who knows. But they don't have triple red, I guess. Yeah, right now they're winning clearly. Like, if they just drop their hand and it's, it's proactive cards, then uh, I, yeah, I'm in trouble because I'm, I have to draw my haymakers. They have their own cruelty of gigs. I guess that's a sideboard card. Now I'm, now I'm kind of happy that the sushi is not in, in the deck anymore. Sorry, in the graveyard. They play their land. Jeez, what does that mean? They play their cycling land. That means their hand is good, huh? I guess they're looking for... Now they're, now they're just going to fetch up Hellraiser, I assume. And they needed the red source, right? That makes sense. Jaya, okay. No Hellraising. All right. So get back a blood tithe with the cruelty. Do 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 do. Magic is fun. La 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 la. I mean, we have four bankbusters, four fable, cruelty three times, four Atraxa. And maybe I shouldn't have kept that opening hand. Maybe that was the the part that was wrong. Not having any fable, not having any bankbuster. I don't know. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> Brotherhood's end would be decent. I already used both of them. I don't have any in my in my deck left, huh? Nope. Shraxa annoyed with affliction. Cool. Play my lands. Yeah, we're getting to the point where I really have to draw a Shraxa off the top here. I guess I'll upkeep. Kill Transmogrants. I'm at 12. I have one more turn, huh? And I don't really have other good draws besides the trucks, I think. Yeah, I mean, this was a bit unfortunate on my part. Maybe I shouldn't have kept that opening hand. Maybe I just ran cold here. Well, my opponent ran pretty hard. So, happens. It's not like Rakdos mid-range has more card advantage than my deck. It has Invoke, I guess. Multiple cruelties, apparently. They have a good plan for the matchup. They have a good plan. But yeah, I, I mean, I have Fables, I have Bankbusters, I have Atraxa, I have a lot of Haymakers. And good cards I could draw at this point, but you know, I'm just not hitting anything, so... Happens. Alright, GG. On the draw, yeah, I mean, this is pretty... This is like an excellent on the draw hand against Grixis. The rest, Bankbuster, Fables. Perfect. Is it? Xana's launch and an Atsushi. Okay. I don't win this game. 
I don't win this game, huh? It is Grixis, huh? Um, yeah, I'll just take the invoke. Just take the powerful card. Cutdown is a bit annoying for the goblin, I suppose, but they have blood type anyways to kill the goblin, so it's okay. Oh, my own blood type, huh? Yeah, I kind of like playing that here. The go the, the bank bus I can deploy later. That drew a fable, of course. Good old duress trick. Just don't have fable in your opening hand. Draw it. Very smart. I might just stop playing standard at some point, or at least like playing decks that um, include Fable, or that are not great against Fable because it just becomes obnoxious. I mean, which deck is great against Fable, really? Like, that card is just. What the heck? It's not a power level standard card at all. And it just becomes more clear and clear the, the longer you play the format. Like sometimes I am I'm I'm the type of person who says like hey guys don't ban stuff you know um we can work things around we can we can play strategies that are good against the good cards right and like work things out that way but fables is just like what the frick you know like it's just way too good um being single color too you know Rafine scheming seer is a pretty sick card too. But that one at least is free colored, you know? And you can at least, you can like Rafine, there's tools to just like one for one it. But like Fable, pretty much only a counter spell does it, huh? Anyways, I think I keep everything. Brownout's end is a pretty nice catch up effect here. They drew a counter spell, really? No? Okay. Uh, scouting brother attempt. All right, sweet. Should I play around anything? I got to make this appear. Just play my bank buster, draw cards. I guess why not? flooding a bit and luckily no corpse appraiser that would have been really good here yeah bankbuster also helps me finding a removal for this key key which is one of the ways i could lose this game they find a corpse appraiser kill the key key instead of the bankbuster interesting Oh, hi. Um, yeah, let's play Fable. Keep on making my land drops. Um, I perhaps wouldn't make land drops if I wouldn't be playing a Truxa deck. But here, because I'm playing in a Truxa deck, I just want to have all my lands in play. I also have Bankbuster to activate. I have plenty of stuff to do. Lands are actively good. And the value from discarding lands to Fable is sometimes important, of course. But in this instant, I'd rather not. Mmm, I mean, my hand's kind of awesome. Don't really see a reason to discard anything. Just gonna cut down this before blocks. 
And and play another fable. And pass. I mean, they already used one Brad Oats, and I could have just gone aggressive, perhaps, with the Harvester. But I'm gonna draw one more card and then start attack with the Bankbuster. Trespasser, okay. Trespasser. I think Trespasser was in the winner's list in Naples, so they might be playing that list. Cruelty, alright, sweet. And yeah, I mean, the more people focus on aggro, the better a deck like Atraxa, Rexa Atraxa becomes, right? Because a lot of the cards that are good against aggro are like really bad here. You know, you want counter spells, Graveyard Hate and, and Duress, stuff like that. A Braid even is good here. But if you play Cutdowns and go for the Throats and Gix's Command, make this matchup a lot worse. Again, keep everything. Um, ba, 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 ba. play this crew here. I mean, attack, play at sushi, play bankbuster, or should I just cruelty it up? Get in a truck, sir. So. 13 card left. I can just win the fair way. I'll win the fair way. Not unreasonable to double attack there. <clears throat> Because, yeah, they can eat one, but I still get two treasures out of the deal. Fable. Draw a card. Takanuma and crew swing. I guess I'll attack the goblins. Maybe I should have crewed this bankbuster as well with the. Pilot. They have a double block then, but then they can... Yeah, I probably should have done that. How do I lose this game? I don't even know. Just get a Truxa. Now we can upkeep, discard a Truxa into a blood and then get it back. Have the plaza up and that's, you know... Just going for the motions here, essentially. Blade calls Serpent with haste. Chump here, take six. It's fine. Yeah, I don't think I can lose anyhow. GG. All right, sweet. Good, good, good. Um, Grixis. Grixis, Grixis, Grixis. Let me take a look at the sideboard guy real quick. Double duress. A hearse. Two transmogrant. Anoint. A braid. We cut uh, the harvesters apparently on the draw here. The cut downs makes sense. And one brotherhoods at the bankbuster. That's the plan. That's the plan. But I mean, there's question marks here on the, on the page I'm, I'm looking at. It might not be the final sideboard plans. 
Um, I, I for one, like Brothers End quite a bit. Shared it, not so sure about. Um, maybe we can cut like a cruelty. I, I, I don't mind flame bless both either. It does get rid of goblin, harvester, and transmogrin if they have it. Let's try that on a draw. On the play, we can be a bit more proactive. Hello, Magic the Gathering, Arena. Uh, do I have to restart? Okay, nothing works. All right, uh, yeah, the internet went out, so unfortunately we couldn't finish that Grixis match during sideboarding. I just uh, lost internet for uh, like five to ten minutes, and uh, unfortunately, of course, conceded that game automatically. So here we are playing another match. Keep seven. We're on the draw, we have a Tsushi, perhaps into a Truxa into in this game. That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. A little ramp dragon. Mulling into five. Underground river. Of course, of course. Oh, never mind. I thought it would be Grixis, but it ain't Grixis, huh? Bankbuster. What isn't death? Blue black proliferate. <laughs> Alright. Um maybe I'll just kill one of these, huh? I mean, Take two, take two, go to five, draw a card, play a blocker, take some damage. All right, I'll play Bankbuster first. I'll take two more. Uh, enable all their crazy, crazy effects that need free poisons on me. Corrupted, is it called? It's okay. Mirex, Liliana. Get a plus. No more distractions. Liliana's so bad against Bankbuster. Like, if I have anything to crew here, just like, you lost your card. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. What just happened? What just happened? Mmm, gosh. All right, that was good. That was fun. Mmm. Jildred, get out of here. Uh, what are we doing in this matchup? What is going on? What is going on, guys? Skull Dweller, Liliana, toxic stuff, toxic creature stuff. Your brother's end looked pretty good. <laughs> Duress takes the counter magic. Bankbuster's a bit as slow at sushi. Like, I have questions. I don't know. I mean, they, they don't even know what I'm doing, right? I mean, they probably think what I'm doing, right? Because of Plaza, I should have played that, I guess. Should have played Sulfur Springs. That looks like a generic Rumaru deck, maybe. They might have that 2-1 flyer, so I might want some exiling effects, right? Like, annoyed. Go for the throw, probably unnecessary. A braid, probably not that great. Cut down. I kind of like the idea of that. And Anki Boys, cut an Atsushi, and add what? Brotherhood's End? Are they going to play into Brotherhood's End again? <laughs> Atsushi is probably fine against them, isn't it? They have that Anoint card they can exile as long as they have free or more corrupted. Girls just add another duress. Maybe just play free Bankbusters on the draw and add a Brotherhood's End. Black, red, control with a sprinkling of a Truxa. Cruelty, a Truxa. Action. That is the game plan. Mm, I mean, ah, it's so hard for me to mulligan a hand with a fable, you know, like mana. Mm, all right. That's going to be played on turn one here. Draw and cut down. What do you got? I'll kill it. It doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna die. It's gonna die. Even if it's a 2 1 flyer, I just wanna. Yeah, that's definitely gonna die. Okay. 
Cut down seems uh, very good here. Very good. I think it kills like everything, right? It kills two one, kills the one one, kills the Venza. They might play the one three. Do I have anything good in my side against Lily? I mean, it's just a rest essentially. Razor Lash Transmogrant, I guess. Sofa Springs, you can go. Oh, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I I'm drawing superbly, of course, but Liliana has a big downside. That is the Bankbuster. It's just so bad against Bankbuster. Sorry, yep, it's unfortunate. Bye-bye, Lily. They got some value. They just cut a void thing. Kaito, all right. Playing good cards, huh? Helps with the proliferate, having some planeswalkers. Maybe I should give this archetype a visit. Playing lilies and stuff. Eh, it's not that bad of cards, you know? Like, if you play a good mix of things. I think I saw Chris Patel, you're playing this deck, actually. Um, Kaito. I think I just killed the 1-1. One, one. I don't want it to draw cards with Kaito. Boom, ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. We can attack the kite with the 2 2. Seems good. Seems good. Wouldn't even know what they have. I mean, they have a bunch of cheap stuff, right? Minus four, minus four, a counter spell. Oh, okay. That's a card. That's a good one. Get that back, yep. Cruelty of gigs off the top, I wouldn't mind. Brotherhood's end. Well, that ain't too bad either. That is actually pretty good. I'll do attack here. Brotherhood's end. Wipe away everything. Activate Bankbuster. Pass the turn. And we're one mana away from hardcasting a truck, sir. All the appropriate colors met. Can't complain. They have a little, little card advantage action going on with the Void Wing here and Proliferate. You know, we got also some, some little card advantage going on. Bankbuster in play, Kiki Flip next turn, a Truxa in hand. And we're still at 20. No poison. I mean, I kind of have to be aware of the counter spell, right? Maybe they have that. Bring the ending. Pay two. Pay two mana, otherwise your thing gets countered. Just make my land drops, I mean... Mm, what do you got? You got a negate? Make disappear? Sack your void wing? No. Alright, sweet. Maybe they do have that counter spell and they were like, uh, I want to counter that, and then I realized, mm, no, not possible. I don't have corrupted yet. So yeah, I would I would put him on the bring the ending card. I now I have seven mana in play. The goblin can turn attack for an eighth mana, and then if I hit one untapped land, I can play around that card. They're gonna kill my Kiki. Yep. Oh no, proliferate up to two poison now. All right, all right. I mean, right now I'm beating them with my board position, so I I don't even need this Atraxa. Not a banky boy, yeah, sweet. Um, so this is not untapped. I think I'm just going to activate my bankbuster. I'm not going to attract that right now. More bankies. Do I want to discover one of these bankies? Yeah, at some point. I have a lot of mana though. I'll just keep everything. That's got to be very scary for my opponent. 
Maybe I should have discarded one bank buster, huh? Maybe. But you know, like, we are, we are at this late game stage of the game. What's not better than to have bank buster, especially against, like, a blue-black opponent who has no way of destroying bank buster before, you know, it's a creature. And then I'll just keep drawing cards, do my thing, you know? Yeah, sure, proliferate. Like, if I would have just tried to hard cast a Traxa there, they would have very likely had the counter spell. And it also would be able to give me proliferate, you know, proliferate me up to free and then have it be a hard counter. I just gotta be careful, I suppose, that I don't play this too slow, because... I mean, I'm at free poison now, going up to four. They could... If they keep chaining proliferate effects, I could just die out of poison before I, you know, take over the game with my card advantage engine. Hmm, okay. They use life, so they keep up two mana for a counter spell, I assume. They're not attacking. I'll draw a card. That's sushi, that's nice. Let's play that. They kind of have to use a counter spell. Yep. And now... I can't kill the Raska, huh? That is unfortunate. What do I do? I could cycle a blood token. I think I'm just gonna draw a card here. See if I find Harvester. Cruelty, okay. All right, all right, all right. So, well, now we can just crew this. And then I could use both my creatures to crew, or I could attack with the goblin. Don't want to attack with the goblin. Do this. Attack both on Raska so they can chump. Raska goes to one. Pass the turn. They can proliferate my bank busters if they want to. Prevent them from flipping. Like, not flipping, but, you know, making a 1-1. One -one. They're actually not unreasonable in this spot, because it's kind of like a racing situation. So I could discard a Truxa end of turn, then cast Cruelty, reanimate a Truxa. They're also down to 10, huh? Could've just gone face for my attack. Up to six poison. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not feeling so so safe anymore. Four cards left. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Two cards left. Yeah, I mean, it's not unlikely that that is another counter spell. Hmm. I just gotta try.
how it resolved. Wow. No colors, huh? Trigger! Hmm, I see. Creature, enchantment, instant, sorcery, and land. All right, so we do have... No, we don't have lethal. We have eight damage at face if I brought out its end after crew. Uh, correct. Yeah, looks looks correct. I mean, wait a minute. No, 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 I have 10. I have 10, right? I can just cut down the blocker attack for 10. Yeah. All right, there are just nothing left. I mean, they had the counter spell there. This game could have been drawn in their favor. It's kind of close. All right, back to diamond tier one, where we started. No, actually, I started one higher. Yeah, I did have fun winning. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, you know, obvious question there. Um, cool deck, though. Maybe I should give this a revisit. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, play some blue black proliferate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, if they had a counter spell there for the Atraxa, I, I don't know, they could have jumped again, or they have six poison, you know. Raska and lots of planeswalkers. Yeah, I could see that being the approach. Um, yeah, all right. Well, that was it for this video. <laughs> we had that little disconnect, unfortunately, happening. So, so one game of Grixis midrange action. Um, but yeah, this is one of the stronger decks in the format. I, I would say it's clearly tier one. One of the better builds of Atraxa. Atsushi is very strong against the, the other red-black decks. And um, yeah, it might just be ripe for a comeback if everybody is concentrating on destroying Esper Legends and Toxic and other creature decks. Focusing on the mirror match, this Atraxa deck might just be ripe for a comeback. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.